Today, I was once again planning my project list, while munching on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I realised at that very moment that I had eaten very little else, and had indeed been able to survive on the simple yet filling snack. A long time ago, I made my kitchen a place of function, and my own needs did not require me to think on many food options. I realised this is an undoing in my plan to feed people directly in combat of the famine that spreads. New plans were set to create an abundance of food types, and it all started today in my kitchen. Now then, welcome back to an English country kitchen. Well, nearly, it's getting there. I've been messing around since last episode with a little bit more of this cooking for blockheads. And uh, it's very, very simple. Each item is very simple to craft. We crafted everything last episode. And everything just needs to be touching in order to completely interact. Uh, you get your menus, and I can basically make all sorts of things. Like, uh, there's toast in here. Because there's toast in the oven that got cooked as I needed it. Um, and there's toasted sandwiches, because I've got toast. There's strawberry jelly sandwiches, because somewhere in here I've got strawberry jelly. There we go. And peanut butter. Yes. And I've got the bread in here somewhere. There. Got the bread. So everything is just, I can just pull out a uh, strawberry jelly sandwich from there. Click to craft. Easy peasy. Everything's in there. The materials I need, or the tools that I need, are up on the back there. And so you look at the recipe, I need a cutting board, which I've got, and two fruits of a type. And I've got a load of different types of fruit in there. I don't know exactly which way around that will pick it, though. So let's go with that one. And I don't know what's gone from in here. It looks like the first two fruit items in the fridge. Which could cause a few issues here and there, but still. Never mind. Uh, and all I've been doing is just messing around with this so far. Just seeing what else I can do with it. What is possible, what isn't possible. All that kind of stuff. And I've kind of got a figured out area here. Just for my testing purposes. I've put some sugar in there, some salt in there, some bread in there. Put some fruits in there that I had lying around. And some other bits and pieces in there that I've also got. And everything seems to be working okay. This uh, puts stuff in the top slots, cooks it nine items at a time, and then outputs on the uh, right-hand side. The sink obviously gives me infinite water, so that any recipe that requires water or salt, or fresh water and salt, I can draw from there anytime I want, because I'm drawing it from the sink, nice and easy. And uh, it connects to the fridges and the tool racks so that everything is accessible through one crafting grid. The menu, as it were. Now that's okay. It uncomplicates things quite a lot. Because if you're playing with Pam's Harvest Craft, you probably know that there's so many recipes and so many NEI check-throughs and stuff that there's a, there's a thing there that makes it easier. Cooking for blockheads makes it easier. Uh, what I'd like to see, though, is to see all the recipes in here that you could possibly make. Not just all the recipes that you can immediately make. For instance, I can't see a, uh, a single thing on there that's more advanced than what I've got here. Whereas I should be able to make uh, cherry jelly, or let's say fig jelly. Should be able to make fig jelly and then make a fig jelly sandwich. Or, uh, well, there's bad to be something. There's bad to be something in here. Cherry jelly, yeah, fig jelly. All of these different jellies, I should be able to make these different types of jams. Like, let's get some blueberries in there, okay? Uh, there's no blueberries in there at the minute. No, everything's all crafted from this system over here. Uh, let's take some blueberry jelly and stick that in a fridge. Okay, so now I add blueberry jelly. I can craft the blueberry jelly sandwiches. Uh, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are. They're in alphabetical order right now. Let's sort in nutritional value. So I've got those two sandwich types that I've been using so much. If I get blueberries in there, I wish I had some blueberries just to, uh, to hand, then that wouldn't necessarily show me how to make blueberry jelly sandwiches unless I already had blueberry jelly. So it shows, it seems to show the components, but not all of the different bits in between. But I'll test that out a little bit more. 
Uh, what I've been working on though is trying to figure out a solution to my kitchen, my storage area and the like. And I've been trying to define where potentially other little rooms are going to go. And that's the first stage really. Um, having little kitchen areas like this is cool. Uh, but this little kitchen area, I could just keep repeating the cupboards and the fridges all the way down. So they're all potentially one connection. All potentially one big block of kitchen with all of the things in it. I could do that potentially, a central island. That might be working nicely. And I could just come to the central island piece and have access to everything in the whole system. Uh, but of course, I want to try and make it more complicated again. Yes, of course, I want to try and make it more complicated. Uh, I made this automatic sandwich maker. And now this entire machine, this entire sandwich maker machine, has technically been replaced by cooking for blockheads. Because I can now make sandwiches that way. Yeah. So if I would get all the raw materials into fridges, I could technically make this entire thing into a fridge and a crafting table or a cooking table and be done with it so that's led me to think well what other things could i possibly do because that is very simple i don't need to have this automated storage i could store all these sandwiches in a fridge somewhere i've got lots and lots and lots i tell you so i don't i don't eat that much i honestly i'm not that big an eater i eat quite a few sandwiches every day here but this selection here is growing instead of reducing. And you can probably see from the apple uh, jelly, apples are the only thing that's not coming into the system. And I had loads of apples from a tree farm a while ago, and I put all those apples in to start off with and made quite a few stacks. And it's slowly but surely wearing down. But at the same time, the production of the farm upstairs is so good that it's actually building up a large supply of sandwiches that I may never even get through. If I stopped making sandwiches right now, there may be enough to last me the rest of the series. I don't know. So this kind of stuff is kind of immaterial. Irregular stuff like this is kind of immaterial to survival. I could survive. That's the main thing. I could survive the doing everything else with one lunchbox and one selection of foodstuffs and that's it but Pam's Harvest Craft and this cooking for blockheads is here and it does make for a nice looking kitchen so I think I'm going to design myself the kitchen area today that's the plan um, I'm thinking about dividing it up into a few different sections though like having the bakery so where my wheat is currently incoming uh, from the farm just out there uh, rather than having it just outside there's no point having a bakery out there I guess have the bakery just in here and have an actual bakery looking shape to it maybe even dig a chimney stack out the corner I was thinking about that from the very beginning then maybe having a cold larder or something along the back here all of these were put in place so that I could have barrels sorting barrels to have everything automatically go into the right sorting locations uh, but I'm not sure that they're working properly right now I'm not sure that that is successfully transferring as it's supposed to and let's take that for instance yeah look at all these sandwiches in here and there's plenty of room in these barrels right but look at all the sandwiches in here and they are not transferring out at all so if I put that there I've linked that to that to that which links up here and that links across here look and that links into these <laughs> these barrels so all of that should be linked up perfectly right but there's something about the refined relocation sorting system since it's had this update that it does not like it right look at that right it's taken all but one no it hasn't it's actually still there the full amounts is actually still there it hasn't moved a single sandwich into the barrels as it should do look at that look it's tried it's tried we, we keep trying to update it and no now I've got 226 blackberry jelly sandwiches in a single stack right there I wonder if I could actually use that no 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 look I can only take them out a stack at a time and then those stacks turn into individuals and it's so messed up 
Refined relocation has been completely royally messed up right now in the current update. This was what I was worried about last time. Last time we had the update, my refined relocation system just completely grind to a halt. And I couldn't understand why, and then when I looked at it, everything was just going to the wrong places. Everything was wrong. They updated refined relocation and messed it all up. Now, I don't know what my solution is. I don't know whether to unhook everything refined relocation and slowly but surely re-add it all. Whether there's some kind of uh, locking mechanisms on there now. Because there's priority filters and things like that. I can set priority filters and stuff like that to the sorting chest. I don't know if that does anything different. See, it doesn't seem to do anything different there. There's no other real settings on here. I could potentially go through these, but this is what's allowed in the chest. As far as I'm aware, when you put something in a chest that is, has got a location somewhere else, it was supposed to automatically relocate it. That was the point of refined relocation. But as you can see, it's not working. So just maybe I have to rip out the entire refined like, relocation system so that I come up with a solution that works with this version of the mod pack. Or maybe I just design my kitchen and then worry about refined relocation and hope that it fixes the problems or I better understand how to use it again because they've changed it so much. But anyway, building-wise, I'm trying to figure out where my walls and everything will go. Okay, so we've got this in line with that section over there. So basically, we've got a pillar post there, and then there's three next to it. Pillar post with three next to it. Three, pillar, three, pillar, three, pillar, and so on, all the way down. So there's pillar, one, two, three, pillar. Okay, this is what I'm thinking is... The right way to structure my section here. And then three pillar. Alright, so let's just work with that first straight away. I put the wrong block in there, but never mind. That's because we need to make some more of those. And uh, yeah, I'll put those fancy blocks in after. It's because I moved some, that's all. Alright, so there's a section. And then we would come across three here and put a pillar. And that pillar is in line with this place, you see. And there's three blocks between those two pillars. Which is good. That's identical design to everything else. So there's a room. Then when we come across here, I put a pillar here. Like that. So that I've got an indented area for the kitchen itself to go. And an area behind here that I could use as like a larder storage area. Maybe accessible through here. So then we've got one, two, three, and we put something here. Fortunately, these tool racks and stuff, once they're placed, they don't seem to fall off. So we're good to go with that. And uh, I've run out of blocks again. Let's make a let's make a ton. I've got loads of sand. It's one of the things that I'm not running short on is sand. There you go, because we can make it automated. Right, and then we move to here, and we've got this section. Yeah, so there we go, that's that bit. And then it would come out three. And by three, I mean there, which is in line with that wall there. It's doing everything all the same as I've been doing so far to keep it all nice and neat. And then I'm going to end up with this horrible sort of gappy section here. Which, it's not in line with the wall, is it? It's not in line with this archway. It's not in line with anything. This archway was placed between two pillars. And the pillars were slightly off. This pillar's slightly off from uh, that pillar. They're not, not a three gap. It's a five gap between those. So I've already got some errors that I've already like incorporated almost deliberately into the original design. That I'm now coming up against and thinking, well, how am I going to get around that one? How am I going to get past that? And I'm trying to figure it out right now. So that's in line there. Let's have another three across this way. Let's just get rid of these marker blocks that I've been putting down. I would like to use these, but let's just uh, let's just take them away for again and have a look about a bit. Okay, so one, two, three, and the block there. And then there's one, two, three there. Okay. But then this 
seems like it's got a very small gap. And also this pillar to there is three, so we could just block it off and have one way in and out of the area. That could potentially be my solution. I was hoping for a bit more of a, a run down this corridor, which is why I was trying to slope it or change it slightly. I could potentially just go and cut across here and have this whole section open so that it's all one big long wall from that corner all the way down to here and then I can go that way even further but I kind of wanted to have a little bit of a section here where I couldn't enclose some machines or stuff on the side in case there was anything I wanted to create in that section and then just have a smaller corridor going down so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where lay the best solution to my problem of sorting it all out and I'm kind of thinking that that would be a good solution uh, the trouble there is that that kind of pillar is not in sequence there but we can make it look okay I suppose thank you Minecraft uh, and then I've got one, two, three sections of kitchen that I can have there facing out. And maybe even a central island section. You could just about figure it out by looking through that. But then there's a two that side and only a one that side. Maybe I'd have to bring it across another one. And then there would be uh, a two for that section, two here, and then a two on this side. So this would come out even further and uh, go up to there, leaving me with a small area here, which I would put like that, a small area here, seven blocks across for the actual kitchen with two side storage areas that I could come into. I could just pop a door in one of these somewhere. Let's say we pop a door there and then and then we come into a set area here that is storing all the manner of goodies through the sorting system. And maybe having something in here that's a bit more like a bakery so that I can use the cooker to make breaded products in this section. And then the bread becomes part of the system here. So bread and toast over here so then I can make sandwiches in this section maybe. And then maybe on this side we call that a vegetable cellar or meat locker or something. And have other recipes over this side. And then further down this way I could bring this wall further on. I could do with sleeping as well. It seems. I haven't slept for a while. I've been thinking about this so much. Let's get down the dark stairs. There we go. I found it. I found it. I'm here. I'm okay. Yeah, I know where my bed is. Look, I slept a few times earlier, and still, I've been awake for like three days straight on the on the uh, the instance right now. So it's been counting down the time. So yeah, I've got a little bit of figuring out to do. I think we've kind of got to a place where we can try at least uh, setting it up and seeing what it looks like from a glance. Because it does mean removing all this, which means taking these barrels out, taking all this system down... I don't really need the system anymore, so it's not a big deal. The goodies from the farm can go into a tesseract and get beamed in at some point along here. But if refined relocation isn't going to work for me, then it's pointless putting it into chests and stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's something different between the barrels and the chests, but it's all the same mod. So maybe I need to make some new barrels and see what we've got. It's it's that problem really that's my stumbling block right now. It's making me think twice about actually doing the job itself because I've got these sorting barrels which yeah they look exactly the same as they used to. Uh and we've got the sorting chest, sorting chest which yeah look exactly the same as they used to. The sorting connector, yeah, exactly the same as they used to. But we've got maybe some more stuff here. Extraction, stock. Maybe I've got to put some sort of upgrades in them now. Filters item using a standard filter. Allows only items to pass in one direction. Maybe I've got to do this. Module spread. 
Uh, it spreads items over the connected inventory. Maybe that's what I've got to do now. Keeps a set amount of items in the connected inventory. Well, yeah. So I maybe have to do a bit of research into refined relocation before I go down the route of actually setting it all up and running. But I can at least rip this old machine down and put all of my stock of sandwiches in the fridge and my cups of tea, which never go cold, in the fridge somewhere and then make an ideal sort of layout. And I think the ideal layout at the minute may be even to bring this wall in one because this wall could come in one easily enough. I don't know why it is there exactly. I could bring the wall in one. Uh, maybe even make it a double thickness wall so that it's in line with this block here and bring it along here instead Yeah, it'd have to come in two from there But that would work. I could bring that in and have a larger archway coming into the kitchen that might do me as well Yeah, I'm thinking of some ideas I will continue plotting things out and planning things out and get a build done For the kitchen area. It's gonna basically be sandstone and sandstone uh, smooth sandstone um, just building the basic structure of the kitchen before I start implementing any of the actual refined relocation and transfer pipes and the kitchen itself. So I'll be back when I've got that little bit done. Alrighty, well, I think I've finally got a shape that I'm kind of happy with. I think I might need to change this stairwell back. I can't remember why I put these blocks in in the first place. Um, I put some blocks down the side here instead of making a three wide staircase I turned it into a two wide staircase and I think that was something to do with having a little bit of space next to The thing that was here and I needed a bit more space So I made the stairwell slightly shorter on that side, but I think I prefer the three wide staircase So I'm probably going to change that back so make it a three wide staircase either side Um the doorway through, or the archway through, seems to be okay, being three what, uh, three deep, as it were, three deep, not too bad. And on the other side, I've not quite figured it all out yet, but it st still seems to be enough space in here for a corridor going round and all that. I might just take that one bit of wall out, make it a two wide, something like that, I don't know yet. Uh, but the kitchen itself, I've sort of come up with the idea of having a central island, so this section here... We've got two blocks on the inside and what I intend on doing is replacing all of these blocks with the actual block head stuff, the uh, cooking for block head stuff. So I'll have like uh, the crafting bench on this corner here and then have everything interconnected or connected in a multi-block style all the way around it making an island. Uh, I'll have something over this side and something inside will probably be mostly to do with baking goods um, making bread and all that the wheat will come straight in from the farm and head into here and then I'll turn it into all the various flowers and stuff uh, we can have some just some basic storage back here just along the side here and this is also access to both uh, areas of the pantry and bakery uh, this side I'm not sure yet <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but it's kind of like storage and then I can access the storage by any of the three doors that are in there, all looking nice symmetrical. And I can bring foods from the storage into the island and put them into fridges or what would look like cupboards. Because a double uh, fridge block actually makes a fridge, whereas a single fridge block looks like a kitchen cupboard. So I can have some kitchen cupboards running around as long as they're all connected around this central island area I can go and I can pick up things from the stores in those areas behind the wall and bring them out and just dump them into the fridge cupboards type things so I can access the recipes here and I've got a bit of tidying up to do I've got some bits of wood to replace and I've got some bits to sort out here this wood here is holding up some sand which I need to Add in some uh, half slabs and bits and pieces. So we've got a lot of bits and pieces to finish off. But I think the overall shape I'm quite pleased with right now. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, that'll do for now. Just been working on trying to define this area a little bit. Uh, the problem I've got is that upstairs we've got this little stairwell here. So the stairs cut in just here. 
and that means that the stairs just here poke through. So these are the stairs, and either side of the stairs just here. And it puts it in the ceiling. I've also got these roof tiles here. And there and there and there and everywhere. So I'm thinking about how to bring the whole ceiling down one. I was looking at dark oak stairs like I've done in other places. But I don't particularly like the look of it against the sandstone so close. I mean, that's that went in the wrong place anyway, but still. There. Uh, it, it's okay, but I, I think it's too final. It comes down, and if it was just a half slab, then maybe I would like it a little bit better. If it was just a half slab. And then half slabs across the ceiling. So I might just go and do the same thing as I've done in here, and just half slab between the bricks. Uh, half slab between the beams, should I say. Try and do it that way. But anyway, I am very hungry, and this is my new kitchen. So let's get something to eat. What have I done? Well... The shape and all that, you saw the layout of the shape, and it's the same shape. I changed the stairs, like I said I would, so we've got two equally fitting stairs. But also, it's a three-wide gap at the top now. I moved them all out one stair, one stair either side, just to make it so you've got a nice big place to be up here. And at the symmetry point, just here, you see that the island, we've got access to a bakery we've got a little bakery counter we've got access to a refrigeration unit area i figured i'd put an actual refrigeration unit on but then realized that i haven't got enough iron to do a ton of it so it'll have to be a small one so i just did the door for now and then that's just uh odds and ends sandwiches i don't know what i'm going to do with that yet probably something similar to that but i don't know what's in there yet but anyway let's have a look at the island because the island was the main thing these other bits I can change around as much as I need to. But the island I wanted to get in position and get placed. So what we got? We've got double freezers or double fridges on both sides. Making the whole thing a three wide thing. Yeah, We've got some cupboards up above and some cupboards on this side up above. But you can't place refrigerators or fridges on top of fridges. When they're already a double unit, you can't place them next to each other. A bit like uh, chests, I guess. It just won't place next to an already done fridge. Because it doesn't know where to connect, I guess. So I put these in there instead. So they're like little spice racks, I was figuring. So I've put some uh, sugar in and some salt in. And I'll put some bits and this in and bits of that in. And I'll just have those as little ingredients that I add in. And those have been going into here anyway. So, for instance, let's put the ground nutmeg in there, for instance. There we go. So I keep the seasonings and stuff in those, and then bring a stack forward into here, so that it's in the system. So it's in the multi-block structure. Uh, we've got the crafting, cooking, and water source linked up to a tool rack, linked up to these three cupboards. So the cupboards don't link across but they link down in that section there. And then, of course, these link to the fridges, and the fridges link around to these fridges, and I've got another cooker around the back, just a spare cooker. It doesn't have any uh, pots and pans and stuff, but it can cook stuff. And I didn't want to just have th six cupboards all down here. And again, that is linked up through a tool rack into three more. Now, the backboards, that was interesting enough. Look, uh, let's take one of them off. It looked a bit... I don't know, it didn't It didn't feel like it looked right, just like that. So I went and made some of these map frames. Let me show you the recipe of that frame. Spruce slab with a, some sticks around, nice and easy. Uh, Bibliocraft map frames. And I used those. Where did the other one go? Ah, uh, there is two, I found it. So I just placed them on there like that. And they're a very flat backboard, the map frames. Very, very flat. So as flat as the tool rack. If flatter than the tool rack. Which makes them work nicely as a backboard. Just kind of brings the whole thing down a little bit more. If I could have squeezed one between these two units, then I would have. But they need to touch, so I couldn't do anything with that. And uh, yeah, now it's all a multi-block connected. So everything that's in the kick, uh, cooking for blockheads mod is all connected together. I'm going to... I've got some raw rat in the fridge over there. I caught loads of peanut butter in here and uh, some bread stuff, some bits and pieces in there. Some soy milk. I made myself a little soy thing to get rid of some soybeans. So the soybeans are making soy milk. I've already done the soy milk itself, but if I do it again, I think I get... Is it tofu? 
and tofu does like opens up a hundred recipes. Um, I put my sandwiches in here, so I've got 512 of each of the items that I've been making hundreds of. Uh, and the spare, the excess, has ended up over in a chest over here. That's my excess stock for what I've got. So this, these, all these beans and stuff, all these bits and pieces, need a storage location in my cellar, as it were, in my storage. But all the sandwiches, they're kind of like a an eating thing. They're a thing that's spare. All that tea spare. Uh, that peanut butter will probably go into the stores as well. Those kind of things need to be stored away. And some of the things, like the sandwiches, I think I just need to send somewhere. Like, here is uh, Feeding the World starting. I'm going to cook everything in my kitchen. I'm going to send it to different worlds and let people eat it. And feed the world. Um, but anyway, I am starving. So let's uh, let's see what we've got. The recipe side of things. I've got... Uh, let's sort it by Hunger Restored. I've got my sandwiches in there because all my jelly's in there and all my peanut butter's in there and all my bread's in there. But there's things like this veggie stir-fry, which I didn't even know was there or how to make it. Mixed salad, nice and simple. Just need salad dressing, which I don't remember how to make. But there's stuff like this. How would I ever remember the recipe for that? It's a boiled egg. And then everything else is raw ingredients. It doesn't... It wouldn't compute. It would not show up. Stuffed eggplant, yeah. Spring salad... We've got vegetarian lettuce wrap. We've got the big potato. Celery with peanut butter. Mmm, yummy. Citrus salad. Hey, really? Okay. Fruit salad. Yeah, any fruits. We've got maple oatmeal. Maple syrup and oats in a mixing bowl. Maple oatmeal. Very cool. Uh, we've got peppermint with spiced leaf and sugar. Uh, we've got cooked rat, because of course we picked up a rat. So this is also doing Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures food stuffs in here, as well as Pan's Harvest Craft, which is good. It's any food recipe, it seems, which is nice. Rice cakes, easy. Roasted chestnuts, easy. Taffy. Taffy was a thing that I would never eat. It's basically salt water. Ugh. It's just salt. Ugh. Stock. Anything in the bowl. Yeah, we've got loads of little things. I can even make ketchup, but I knew I could make ketchup and mustard and all that kind of stuff before. Ground nutmeg. And the flour to make bread. And cornmeal to make corny stuff. S steamed spinach. All sorts of crazy snacks. I'm going to have... Um, well, actually, no. I'm going to get some of this tofu. Uh, silken tofu. There we go. I don't know if I have to run it again. Do I have to run it again? Yeah, I do. Let's just take some silken tofu and whatever it produces. Uh, yeah, there we go. Firm to tofu. So we'll get a, a piece of firm to tofu because I know that does a lot of stuff. And uh, have I got a particular place that I want to store that? Mm. There. Why not? Let's put the tofu in there. Okay, so now what have we got? Oh, look at all the options we've got now. Uh, let's do it in Sort by Hunger again. A chilli. We've got a chilli because tofu counts as meat. Barbecue, pulled pork, BLTs. We've got chicken, celery, casseroles, steak and chips. That's tofu and chips. Let's have a steak and chips. Nom nom. Steak and chips time. Well... <laughs> As you can see, I've now got an abundance of things and recipes available in my little kitchen. But that is all we've got time for this episode. So thank you very, very much for watching another episode of A Druid's Tale. I'll see you very soon for some more.